Wasn't that a great film? It was a really... I, I must say, I, I wasn't a huge fan of the first one, but I was in tears, I was <laughs> laughing. It was just the... One, I remember going, that is one of the best films I've ever seen. It was great, and you, but you've got to wait till the very, very, the very end to yes. see you at, right at the end. Yes, they... Very they're, important. They've given me a little post-credits bit, which um, they were actually working on. When you talk about me being a diva, I'm not being a diva. No, they were, they were trying to get me to do something. You know, I was the passport guy, and the yeah. new electronics ones weren't working, so we spent a day of me smashing it up, banging <laughs> it against the cabin, throwing it into the sea, then diving in after it and trying to clean myself up again. <laughs> and none of that got used. <laughs> No, but it'll be... You know when they bring out the director's cut it'll and all of that? Yes. And DVD, DVD extras, yes. DVD extras will be there. We saw you and Colin Firth sharing a lovely moment there together. Yes. But you, he dreamt about you. You're good pals, and he, he had a very strange dream about you, didn't he? Well, I don't, I'm not saying we're good pals, but I, I did a charity gig for his mother Ooh. once, and then um, out of the blue a couple of years ago, he said, Dear Amid, I've, I just had a dream that you were a lap dancer, and I just thought you should know. Right. So I emailed back saying... That's funny, I had the same dream, Colin, and, and your cheque bounced. <laughs> and then he wrote back, because that's because the lap dance was wholly unsatisfactory. Right. And I wrote back in my defence, I did warn you, the chair needed reinforcing. So. And then he says, now it's, a, it's a, an insurance issue and we've got lawyers <laughs> onto it, over, over a dream. And then what happened was that when you have this thing online, you don't talk about it on set. We were just very quiet about it. Right, didn't okay. say anything about but it. But it's your thing. It's you your thing. Professional, it. Abs yes. Absolutely. <laughs> um, you also... Of course, really, really busy man. You've got, you've got the, the, the whole tour coming out, yes. of course. And I love the way you describe it as a schmuck. I mean, you're probably one of the few people that wants people to look at their mobile phones while, yes. they're, while they're watching you, just so that in case the, anything happens, they'll let you know. People like and Chris Rock you know. and Dave Chappelle, they actually confiscate your... You have to put your phone in a oh, pouch. Oh, right, OK. But I say, no, keep your phone on, because you might not get the jokes. We, I, the other night, I did a warm-up. And someone said, I don't get it. He went, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> so what, that's what happens. <laughs> so I'm encouraging people to keep their phones on because sometimes they won't get the joke until they get home and turn the news Right, on. exactly. And it changes all the time. The thing about a show like yours, yes. it changes from venue to venue and what's happening that particular day. Everything, all the discourses of today, Trump, yeah. Brexit, everything that... Because the material you guys have got now? And it changes. I mean, the, the whole... Someone saw my show a year ago and then they saw another preview a few months ago. This is a different show. It does change with the yeah. times. No, look, you did Splash, famously did Splash. Oh, my God. But you said that was a great thing to do because it gave you a lot of confidence. It does. I think it's yeah. good to face look your fears. You. Yeah, that's me. That's me. That's a guy who's scared of heights. And they, uh, Tom look, Daly, trained me so that's well. Amazing. Look at your wee face. That's from the ten. Me I, I, I once jumped off a three meter board, and I thought never again. But that was ten meters. And he that's basically amazing. said, the one thing that takes fear away, he said, for you to do it, just bear this in mind. And all of Team GB Olympics were told, just if you do it, just think how good you'll feel and how well you'll sleep. And when he told me that. I just jumped. That's true, actually. It's amazing. That's a really, that really good thing. That takes fear away, because fear is the one thing that stops us from achieving things it in does. life. We always think that I'm no good, I, I yeah. can't do this. But actually, if you take the fear away, you don't know what you... In fact, so much human potential can be fulfilled just if you take fear away. You're absolutely right. You really are. Because... And again, though, do you not sometimes... Or, or do you get that fear just before you go on stage? Yes, Is it all overcoming the time. that fear? That's what makes it so good. Yeah, sometimes... You feel great about it. I mean, comedians often do this routine. They either stand with a kind of the Tory power stance that goes, I'm, I'm, I'm funny, I know I'm funny, I've got the right to be here. But I, know, I know comedians who do that. And actually, it does help, because if you just think, oh, I'm not as good as this person, yeah. you'll just crumble. You have to feel that people have paid to see you. And they, they're there to listen, to entertain, be entertained, educated, yep. uh, elevated. So, yeah, I think if you have confidence, you take the fear away, then you can achieve. Yay.